Pony Wall, part three. So I am putting molding on the pony wall. And the pony wall is not level. As you know, the walls are kind of bowing in this suite. So there's a little bit of issue with straightness. Pony wall, pony wall, pony wall, pony wall. I love you when they hate pony you. Wall, pony wall, pony wall, pony wall. I love you when they hate pony you. Wall, pony wall, pony wall. So, pony wall is almost done have to put the molding on, then I'm going to cack it, and then I'm going to paint it, and then I'm going to forget about it for the rest of my life. Until some pain in the arse tenant says, um, you know that little wall? I, um, well, the thing is, I dropped something, and it punctured a hole in the drywall. That's how I feel, if that happened. So that's a little lesson to your tenants. Don't screw with your landlord's stuff. Such as their ponies. Such as their freaking ponies. <laughs> that is a crazy small hammer. Why don't you use a big hammer? More flexibility. like a geek hammering this? Well, it's a pretty silly hammer. Is that a cobbler's I hammer? I'm using this small hammer. 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 Why are you using this tiny hammer? Tiny nails. Uh, small molding. It's not as heavy. Okay, here's a little handy tip for you people. If you are putting some molding in and uh, any kind of nails, you want to recess it. So we use this uh, nail punch and it has a, I don't know if you can see it here, but it's kind of a divot in. So you put it right on the nail. I'm gonna punch in. punches it right in so then you can put some uh, mud on top of that and then you'll it'll be a seamless and you won't be able to see the nail so you're using the big hammer again I am using the big hammer again I guess it's more butch of me this is more feminina this is more butch is it drop the hammer Schultz drop the hammer satisfying when it goes all the way in.